for those getting started with discussions. Discussions allow students to engage in a course question and communicate their thoughts. Discussions can be personal questions to connect teachers and students together or students to each other, or they could simply be academic in nature. Think about how you could use a discussion tool for maybe talking about a book or an important social issue, personal journaling even, or just social emotional learning to discuss a time a student felt worried and describe how they could have helped a friend who felt worried. Discussions allow students to respond using text or with a video response, which can add a personal element and could be really helpful for our younger students who lack typing skills. Let's show you how to use a discussion. In order to add a discussion, you're going to go to your modules page, click on the plus side, change this to discussion. Um, if you want to make a new one, you're going to do that. Um, and then you need to give it a topic. And you can add your item from here. And you're going to go into your discussion. Here's where your students can discuss. To add some more details, you're going to click here. Go to Edit. And it'll bring you to the Rich Content Editor. Um, from here, just like in a page, you're going to add all of your content. All right, so just use the uh, rich content editor, just like you did on a page, to add your picture. And um, it's always good to add an example for students uh, so that they can see kind of what you're hoping for and um, some expectations. Um, underneath here, you have some more options. Uh, if you wanted to attach a file um, or something else, you could put that in here. Um, on anonymous discussions, um, if you want them to not see who has been uh, add, or adding to the discussion, um, students can choose whether or not they want to have their names associated or off so everybody can see it. Um, if you're doing an ap academic discussion, it's good to, to make sure that they have to respond before they can look at others so they're not just taking other people's ideas. Um, you can grade it if you would like. Um, it'll put that in the grade book for you. Uh, you can allow liking so students can add that they like the comment. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, on the bottom here, this is an updated thing. You can assign it to certain sections, um, individual students, groups, whoever you would like. It's always important to put in a due date um, for students as well. Um, from here, everything is good to go. Um, I'm going to save it. And it's going to bring me back to this screen. Um, so this is what your uh, students are going to see. Um, so in order for them um, to a response, uh, they can reply. They'll get a, re a rich content editor too. Um, and they can add their responses. They can put in a photo just like you can put in a photo. All right. Um, if they would like to do a video response, they can go here and upload and record me media. And if you go to the record button, you will be able to record yourself. Just do start recording. And you will be in business. Um, so those are the basics of how your students can reply and work in their discussion.